Why does Thanksgiving exist? A long, long time ago, before there was Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, or Iron Man, the world was in need of a strong individual to serve justice. Evil is in control. People are in great fear, not just for themselves, but for their loved ones. Nerd, you said you had my money today. Well, I have it. I don't yes, have it. You got to. I, I need it today. I need it now. Give me my money. I need my money. Oh, just keep it. Oh, you need my money. I need my money. Give it. Give me my money, man. What's wrong? Why didn't you do something? What What could I do? I don't know. Just something. You know what? Let's just pretend we didn't see that, okay? I I'll, I'll buy you something to drink. You're a coward. I thought you would be better. I thought you would be better. better, better, better. You're a coward. 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 I'm not a coward. Why didn't I do something? It's time to eat. Oh. You are the chosen one. With this on, you'll be granted great power. Who's speaking? Me, the turkey spirit. Turkey spirit? Yes, turkey spirit. I entered your body through the chicken yesterday. What? Chicken? Wait, how? You are the one that I chose to serve justice in this world. Justice? So what power do I get? You now have excessive strength. You have to learn to control it. Second. You can now recognize or detect bad guys. Hey, pretty lady. How are you doing? Go away. Hey, I was talking to you. You listening? Get away. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys doing? Get him! Go! Stay away from me, you maniac! And that's the real reason why Thanksgiving exists.
Where's Kenneth? Time. <clears throat> uh, hi guys, I'm Kenneth. I'm Casey. And welcome, welcome back, back to another, another episode of Husky Vision. Vision. Homecoming Spirit Week was from October 15th to October 19th. Monday was Nerd Day. Tuesday was Mean Girls and Goth Day. Wednesday was Cheer and Jock Day. Thursday was Wear Green. And Friday was Greaser Day. Hope everyone had fun. The homecoming rally was October 18th. The FPA dance crew was super sick, bro. Shred the gnar, dude. Yeah. And Ling and Diego sang, Can I Have This Dance from High School Musical. Great job, everybody. The homecoming game was October 18th. Congrats to all the homecoming court. The homecoming dance was October 20th. Hope everybody had a good time. Red Ribbon Week was from October 22nd to October 26th. Say no to drugs. The Peace Day Assembly was October 22nd. Good job to all the Peace Ambassadors for setting everything up. Halloween was on October 31st. We saw some really cool costumes. Let's take a look. So what's your, what are your names? I'm Savannah. I'm Xerxes. Eddie. Dion. Diego. I'm Fred. Um, so what are you guys supposed to be? Um, I'm supposed to be a rhythmic gymnast. Originally, I was a communist alligator. Um, the hat got really hot, so now I'm just an alligator. I'm Clark Kent. I'm Fred. Romo. I'm Clark Kent. <laughs> nice. I'm the Green Lantern, baby. <laughs> I'm a mad scientist. Are you guys going trick-or-treating this year? No, I have college apps. I am too old for that. Yes, but but of it's only tricks. Yes, of course, I love candy. What about you, Fred? Uh, I'll be yelling at my players. <laughs> you know, we got a big CIF game on Friday. We need to get them in shape because they all suck. And, yeah, but the kicker's really good. <laughs> so, yeah. Depends. <laughs> uh, probably not. No. What do you mean, depends? It depends on if there's big candy bars or toothbrushes. <laughs> What do you guys like most about Halloween? Scaring people. I'll second that, yeah. Scaring people. Lucifer. Uh, like, ca <laughs> <laughs> I like candy, you know. Cool. Thanks. Hot. Veterans Day was November 12th. Thanks to all our veterans who served in the military. The ASA Extreme Bowling Assembly was on November 13th. The fall production, I Take This Man, started yesterday and is continuing today and tomorrow. If you haven't already, go and watch it. Hi, I'm Allie. This is Husky Sports. These are our winter teams. So I'm here with Lizette, Kaylin, Rachel, Diego, Nicholas, Andrew, Abel, Junior, Atin, Brittany Chan, Lonnie White, Andrea Javier, Izzy Ohm. And uh, what team are you guys a part of? The girls varsity basketball. Girls varsity basketball. Basketball. Soccer. Okay, so how have you guys been preparing for this upcoming season? Lots of practice, basically like every day. Oh, well, we've been practicing every day and put in that work. <laughs> uh, well, um, we've got a new coach, which is a really good thing. So I'm working with him for like just one for a couple of weeks now, I guess. Yeah. So. Coach Rob, absolute great guy. I mean, he's been working with us and we've been doing weights for the last two or last week. Yeah, we've been like lifting. Like. All right, so what are you guys excited for this season and what do you hope to accomplish? Well, um, uh, I look forward to going on our Arizona trip for the Nike Tournament of Champions, you know, spending time with the team for a, quite a long time. Get to see IEF and win the ring. I need a ring on my finger, you dig? <laughs> um, I think we just want to win one game and get I, enough girls 
play. Yeah, I think that like maybe two games. Two games would be great. Yeah. Um, we're trying to get like really strong, like like all this weight training. Hopefully, we get really big muscles. <laughs> And for sure, something we're really looking forward to is getting wins. I mean, uh, we haven't last year wasn't as, as great as we planned out, but this year, if we put in the work, we're going to do a lot better, and we're going to see serious success out in the season. Okay, so what what is your guys' favorite uh, thing to do before games? Any pregame rituals? Oh, just listen to music and I don't know, get get motivated. We like to eat, you know what I'm saying? Chick Fil A, you dig? Oh, yeah. Chick Fil A is the move, but you gotta. Just listen to music, you just go get in the vibe, you feel me? <laughs> well, as a team, we usually go eat before our games, a couple hours before, then we come back to the team room, and like some of us will nap, others will, you know, run around, dance, thing. Little, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so Taz, Tasmania, he's smelling, if you guys didn't know, and what he does <laughs> is he, so he, he goes like, at before games, go like this, he says Millie, and then the whole team goes like this. It's like, like a this. cool, like a little hype circle, he says, you know, it's really awesome. Lopat. <laughs> you know, clap, and then he sets it on there, some Mo and thing, and then we clap again, and then we get super hyped. And we get super hyped. Hussies on me, Hussies on three, one, two, three. Huskies. Yeah, just first, yeah. <laughs> and then we always blend after that. Yeah. Uh, I think the pregame nap is essential for me, and the music. And yeah, you try to find that seat where all alone, and you can lie down. So, are, are you guys like you guys are considered like the captains, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, shut up! What do you like? What do you think you are? You We're here. filming. Uh, well, nothing's been set in stone yet. I mean, like I all, everything that was said last year is a total new administration. So we're all just looking to get the get whatever spot we get, we get, and we're just gonna. By play. the end of the day, and captain does not matter. It's all about the yeah, W's. It's all about the, all about the and how we play as a team. So it doesn't really matter what spot we are. But I'm definitely captain. <laughs> so uh, thanks, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> now it's time for Husky Focus. Hi, I'm Anushka, and I'm going to be playing Giddy in I Take This Man. I'm Annalise, and I'm going to be playing Giddy in Hall, the, the understudy of Giddy in the play I Take This Man. Hi, I'm Diego. Um, I'm playing Brett Fleming in I Take This Man. I'm Mr. Cooley. I teach theater here at Fairmont Prep. Why did you choose this play? Why did I choose this play? Because it's funny. I read it, and I laughed a lot, so I figured everybody would laugh a lot when they watched it, so that's why I chose it. Without spoiling, what is your favorite line in the play? Uh, ketosis! <laughs> uh, it's an inside joke, you'll probably get it when you see the play. Of course, uh, you've got the three banana. It means you want to monkey around. There you go. What's the most fun part about being in the play? Pretty much everything. I mean, we have, the cast and I, like, we have a great time because we're, like, so tight. And it's, it's just a little family, so we pretty much memify everything, and it's, it's pretty lit. I will tell you right now, it's after the first performance is over, and all of the actors are like, yeah, we did it! and it's just awesome. It's a good, happy feeling. Who would you stay with of all the cast and crew if you were abandoned on an island? <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, uh, let me see. I don't know who's in the cast. Maybe, actually, maybe Xerxes, actually, because he's, he's jokes, so I feel like we'd have a good laugh before we, like, died. Uh, any of the girls and Langer and Elise, I don't trust any of the guys. I think they'd probably kill us. <laughs> What's the funniest thing that has happened during rehearsal? Oh, so much. We turn every line into a meme or a vine. Also, when we did this this friends thing, we were on the couch and it was really cute. That's hard. It's pretty much everything. Maybe like like our weird like um, screw ups while saying lines from the play. Like I know one time I was like no 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 nail file, and so that was kind of an oof. Uh, then smoked oysters came up, chloroform, stuff like that. How long does it take you to memorize your lines? No, um, like it's actually taken a few months, but I think I think we're good now. Like we know what we're doing. Um, well, we had to be off book like two weeks ago, but it took me a little bit longer than that. So <laughs> I don't know. It took me a while. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been rehearsing? Uh, we have been rehearsing for exactly two months. Today, two months ago, we started. Do you have any particular routine to get in character? Uh, not really. I feel because Giddy is just like such a, like, ecstatic, crazy character. I am already her in like another life. So like, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to just step into her shoes. Routine to get in character? Um, not really. Just, um, like isolate myself pretty much a little bit so I can like focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. And, uh, that's pretty much 
<laughs> Why do you shave your beard for each show? I only, I, I, I've never shaved my beard. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never once have I ever shaved my beard. I've had this mm -hmm. beard since I was born. Mm -hmm. I literally came out of the womb with a beard. Right. And our final question. Do you have anything to say to the audience? If you haven't bought a ticket yet, you're too late. Actually, this is going up on Friday, right? We're gonna watch this like this Friday? Yeah. This Friday? Yes. Okay, you're not too late. I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, you played, you paid $20 to come, so I really do hope you enjoy it. It's a good play. I think you're really gonna like it. You can come tonight or tomorrow at one o'clock or seven o'clock. So buy a ticket. Come watch the show. It's gonna be really good. <laughs>was the night before break and in this quaint little building all the holiday seasons had gathered and conflict was milling oh, it's duck season everyone no, quiet down let's just start this meeting hi i'm christmas hi, hi christmas. christmas i'm halloween hi halloween i'm fourth of july america hi fourth of july i'm new year's eve Hi, New Year's Eve. Hey guys, I'm Easter. Hi, Hi Easter. Easter. Hi, I'm Valentine's Day, and if you like my name, you should have my number. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm late. There was just so much traffic. <laughs> Dude, who is that? I don't know, I think it's one of those made up holidays. I'm Thanksgiving, you know, the holiday before Christmas. Everyone always forgets about me. Um, well, okay. The first thing on the agenda is... Oh, say can you see? No, 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 no. We aren't doing any of that right now. Since no one is leading the meeting, I guess I will. Because, you know, I am the most popular. What the? Obviously, I'm the favorite. You're the closest thing to the purge, breaking into little kids' houses. It's no wonder you add fuel to the fire. You have a shorter fuse than those fireworks you set off that are annoying. And you? You don't even have a date for your holiday. Plus, you never pick up after yourself. Like, wait, what is this? Oh, that's where that went. Thank you. I think I'm the best. People change their lives because of me. People just delude themselves with the idea of change. If they really want to change, they make it happen right away, not on the 1st of January. <laughs> Again, time is a social construct, but whatever. That was beautiful. Shut up. No one cares. All they care about is Black Friday. Everyone just needs to calm down and be thankful for each other. The answer is so obvious. I'm the best. After all, I am the most loving. Be quiet, you're so annoying. All you ever do is make people feel lonely. Despair? Doesn't sound half bad. Boo! What are you guys even talking about? Ooh, you're a cutie. Wait, who are you? I'm New Year's Day, and we've come together to figure out this upcoming year, but so far, nothing we're doing is productive. I'm gonna roast you like a turkey! And I'm the reason you get next week off! Well, they get three weeks off with me. And as the argument continued on this pre-break night, it seemed as if the holidays would never reach a conclusion to this festive fight. Now it's time for On the Prowl. On the Prowl. Answers from the students about issues you care about. What are you least thankful for? Bobby Shimerdo is still locked up in prison. Free Bobby. What's Bobby Shimerdo? I'm least thankful for people that stop in hallways and that are on their phones. And then you gotta like walk around them. You can't really walk around them because there's a wall next to you. And you're kind of just stuck there. What are you guys least thankful for? What are we what? Least thankful for. Least thankful for. God. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, they said mold. Let's start over. Let's start over. College ads. Because they're hella stressful and I have so many to do. Tony, what are you least thankful for? A few moments later. Brayden, what are you least thankful for? Um, my grades currently. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, what are you guys least thankful for? 
least thankful for? Least thankful? Yeah. Oh, gosh. My best friend. <laughs> oh, the Packers winning all the time. That's what I'm least thankful for. Not a Packers fan? No. No. Then what are you a fan of? I am, unfortunately, I am a Bears fan. Oh, fun. I don't watch football. <laughs> College applications. We're here with Mr. Cooley. Kim, do you? And what are you least thankful for? What am I least thankful for? Huh, that is a tough question. Uh, schoolwork during breaks, during breaks. Yeah. I am least thankful for dry wind because it dries out my skin and it's terrible and I hate it. Relatable. Lights, camera, action! Welcome to Husky Vision's new show, How to Myra McCann's Photography! I'm gonna teach you guys how to be a YouTuber! Uh, I mean, I'm gonna show you guys some basic tips and tricks on how to use your camera. First, let's talk about the stabilizer. It's great for really unstable people. Oh my god, why am I ASAP? Oh my god, why am I Husky Vision? Oh my god, why am I the president of the hiking club? Using a stabilizer simple. All you have to do is turn it on. You can shoot some cool shots like this. And it should look something like this. Next, you have to have the right equipment to make an awesome video. First is the hard drive. This is the most basic one. It's a four terabyte RAID drive. Basically, it has two internal drives, one replicating the other. One of them, you just get all the data, the other one is it's like a whole thing. Basically, you need $300 to get it. If you want to be a pro like me, you have to have a ton of SD cards. Now for editing, you need a computer setup. Let's go. If you don't have a computer setup like this, you could forget about learning to film. All right guys, we're gonna talk about lighting and being really extra. First you have to get, wait, what the? Interesting. Boop, 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 boop. Now it's time for a pause for a cause. No stuffed animals, no scary action figures, no toy guns. Oh, but the new and unwrapped toys are accepted. During November 19th to December 14th are the Chalk Toy Drive. You can bring new and unwrapped toys. And please, don't bring the stuffed animals, scary action figures, and play guns. From now to December 1st, our seniors can bring 50 by 60 inches of matching pieces to create a fleece blanket. Remember to bring pieces that match with each other. Seniors, don't forget to do your community service hour during winter break. Are we gonna kind of like blast it so we can't hear our voices that much? Yeah, do, 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 do. do we have to like say the words or no? Run you over, oh, Amanda. <laughs> Ali, are you gonna go? 
make it. Do we have to do the whole song? I think so. Can we go to In-N-Out? Oh, right. can we go to In-N-Out? Are you riding? Say you never have a name from beside me. Good bro. I don't care about dying. I don't want my insurance rate to go up, okay? Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never have a name from beside me. I want you and I need you. And I'm bound for your eyes, Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never have a name from beside me. Look, the new me is really still a real me. I swear you gotta feel me before they try and kill me. They gotta make some choices. They running out of options. Cause I've been going off and they don't know when to stop. And then we get the top and I see that you've been learning. And when I take the shot, we keep it. Are you riding? So you never have to leave from beside me. Cause I want you. And I need you. And I'm down for you always. Oh. 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 I'm looking like a snack right now. Cook some dick and I can't eat that. Whoa! 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 You can quest ya! You be in my video? What are we doing? I don't like raw men though. Whoa! Yeah. Spicy. Hey, let's do the wheat. The wheat. Wheat music remix. Come on. I bet. Now it's time for Top Dog News. Hello, Huskies. Welcome to Top Dog News. I'm your host, Reed, and here's the news. First on our list is the fall play, I Take This Man. The theater has already performed at one time. However, there will be three more shows. One tonight and two tomorrow. 
I don't know about you, but I'm going. And next up, Thanksgiving. We were going to interview a turkey, but couldn't find any. Turns out they've all gone on holiday in the countryside. <laughs> Chickens. Anyways, Thanksgiving breaks from November 21st to November 23rd. Have fun, kids. Also, the Chalk Toy Drive and the Winter Concert are going to be on December 14th. And now, for a commercial break from our sponsors. Hey, what are you doing? Shh, it's quiet week. <gasps> quiet week? It's finals already? Oh my god, that is funny. <laughs> well, that was terrifying. At least we get to go on break afterwards. Y'all better have fun, because we're all going to be coming back to school on January 14th. Well, that sounds like our time's up, folks. We'll see you again next month in December for our... What? We don't have an episode in December? Well, we'll see you next time. That's it for this episode of Husky Vision. See you next year. Now it's time for Students of the Month. Cut it. It's a long clip. <laughs> <laughs>